Um, keep doing like creating clean energy jobs. Biden has like a uh, long said that like when he thinks about climate change, he thinks about like jobs, uh, good paying union jobs that people can like raise a family on. As president, he's delivering the clean energy manufacturing and deployment boom ignited by his landmark climate law has like so far directly created over 300,000 jobs in communities nationwide. And we're making sure that these jobs that may meet rigorous like workers and environmental safety standards. The legislation is helping push American factories construction into a old time high as well as we build new plants to make things like batteries and electric videos, solar power or solar panels and wind turbines and bring supply chains they need they needed to power a clean energy future at home. Whereas let not forget there's like plenty of new cars already being built that are just like gonna be wasted in a new car graveyard because of the overproduction of capitalism. Because uh, again, if like they just stop making like cars in the new car factories as well too, not only do those people get laid off because like they're not they're making new cars as well like that, then the, all the people in down the supply train like making steel and so on like that or refining steel will also like not get as much work. And then, like, oh no, if you can't work, then you can't eat in this society. And that's, and if you can't work, can't eat. That's something Lenin said, and he borrowed something, he borrowed a line from the Bible. <sighs> So it's like, I still kind of like a, a have this issue of like in order to like live you have to have a job in order to like work, and that like and but also like it still it kind of like counterintuitive to like some environmental practices or protecting the environment and like clean energy jobs and that sort of thing too. When like so Tim Walz as governor in Minnesota did approve the Endridge Lawn 3 pipeline that went through indigenous lands. It was like original plan for that pipeline to go through some like um. Uh, homes uh, don't, uh, underneath the uh, homelands of like white people as well too but the white people protested that so like okay the entry the uh plan by like, construction for the entry line pipe line three pipeline uh went underneath uh indigenous lands indigenous homes underneath the reformation and punctured aquifers too so it poisoned water as well too um but Part of the reason that Tim Wallace approved that, like, energy, the construction of the Energy Line 3 pipeline is that it created jobs. The, the unions were all for that. And because, like, we created jobs and jobs are good. Yeah, like, the, both, like, the Democrats and the Republicans in some ways are saying that, like, jobs are good and more jobs are good. They disagree on how they go about that. But there is no politician in any like legitimate like office any in any country that says we should have less jobs. That's what Dave Graver brought up in bullshit jobs. Probably why we create so many bullshit jobs because like we still are holding to and married to and invested in the idea that like one must work in order to live, or one as able body must work in order to live for personal responsibility as it were. And so, like, in this, like, sometimes in this pursuit of, like, creating jobs, we can, like, do other, like, harmful things, like destroying the environment. And, again, the Industry Line 3 pipeline was bringing in tar sand oil from Canada into, like, uh, refineries down, like, I think in Texas as well, too. So the worst kind of, like, gas uh, oil that you get, the dirtiest oil, tar sand, and we're cleaning it up to make a clean energy, and that's worth thing, too. Um, but hey, the building of that like, pipeline was creating jobs. Don't forget, Sandy Rock also happened in like under Barack Obama in 2016 too. Eh, because like we live in an authoritarian country, the uh, government system is an authoritarian one, and it is the difference is is like. Do we have someone that's presidential that is like controlling the authoritarian country, or do we have a fascist that's controlling the authoritarian country, or someone who's not presidential like Trump? Anyway, continue on. The president's agenda also included extended uh, buy clean, buy clean, and buy America standards, uh, requiring federal projects to use low carbon American-made cement, steel, and other materials, and providing like a credit for like uh, private com uh, companies to do the same, creating more American jobs. It's also providing extra incentive for like uh, private companies to hire registered like apprentices and pay provincial wages. And these executive actions, and with Congress, um, and with 
through executive actions and with Congress, uh, Democrats will continue to work to create strong labor standards for like jobs created with like taxpayer dollars. To help prepare people for these jobs, and Democrats launched the American Climate Corps, or a new workforce a training and service initiative that will put more than 200,000, 20,000 young workers to work on clean energy and conservation and climate resilient projects nationwide. Um, again, building pipelines for oil pipelines, great jobs. Um, anyway, continue on. President Biden has set set a goal to look at triple the size of the American Climate Corp. Uh, by the end of this decade, ensuring that like young people are like given the skills and tools that they need to succeed in careers in our new clean and energy and climate resilient economies. Rem now, again, or just remind people of how when like president set goals that like in ten years time is well too, or decades out, something like that. They kind of like set it to be ten years time instead of like six years time or eight years times or even four years times or two years time because like then they'll be on the hook for actually implementing in promises that like they have to see to fruition most of the politicians will say in 10 years because like by 10 years they're out of office and then like don't have to like take the blame remember that continue on the administration is also making record investments in registered uh, apprentices including clean energy industries uh, registered apprentices train more than a million Americans a year across the industries, 90% of whom like, stay on those jobs as full hires. We're also boosting investments in STEM education and workforce training programs for like women at historical black colleges and universities and, uh, for women and as the historical black colleges and universities, HBCUs, FY, and other minority-serving institutions named M. SIs to make sure clean energy and manufacturing jobs of tomorrow are open and accessible to communities that have been like too often left out in the past. The administration is also investing in new sources of income for American farmers and like working to make our farm sector the world's first to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Why can't we reach the net zero emissions sooner? Anyway. Um, under President Biden's long-mark climate uh, law, the Agricultural Department is paying farmers to adopt climate-smart uh, practices, um, in which like uh, sequesters carbon from which like sequesters carbon from the atmosphere, improving soil health and biodiversity, and restore water cycles, uh, all while opening up new revenue streams for e ecosystem service uh, markets. Already, over 80 farmers are covering 75 million acres have adopted these practices above all democrats will uh, will unite against the republicans and war on clean energy blocking their like uh, obsessive attempts to repeal president biden's clean energy investments republicans will not uh, will not be allowed to pull the rug out of the american clean energy business sending hundreds of thousands of jobs overseas and strip americans of the cheaper cleaner energy choices all to please their special interest backers uh the democrats also have special interest backers the, the Democrats also get the donations from Wall Street, too. For a major corporation of any size, like Disney, for example, just as an example, but any other major corporation of that size, you will donate to, like, both political parties. Because by donating to the, both either political party, doesn't care about, like, policies and that sort of thing, too, you want to be at the table with whoever's in power. So no matter what, with a big enough corporation, you're going to donate to both political parties because you want to see at the table for negotiation and things. So like Democrats will like to talk about like the evil like oil companies and that sort of thing too, but they're probably also will be at the table as well, unless it's like oil company that has diversified like uh, Conical Phillips or Shell or like um, BP. Who have diversified in other like uh, adventures, including Korean energy, but also still do fracking, which again, no word about fracking whatsoever so far. And the thing about like agriculture, like also agriculture contributing to like climate change, that is true. And one way that like people can like combat, as a not only as individuals, but I think as society, we can combat climate change is going vegan. By having a more plant-based diet, and not have so much meat in our diet, because think about it: how much like it takes to like produce a plant-based diet? 
You just like do the research to grow the soybeans and then that's it. And there you go. And then they add the soybeans, maybe some processing, and then you like put it out on the market. For meat production, you need vast lands to grow the meat for like cattle or pigs or like uh, cows or sheep or like um, whatever it is the meat production is for. You also uh, chickens as well. You, uh, something like animals will need more, much faster and much bigger like land mass in order to like do grazing as well too. You also need to feed those animals. And the animals uh, feed is kind of like it's kind of plant based too. So you have to like grow and produce to feed to feed the animals, house the animals, uh, they feed the animals, have the animals live the long enough life to maturity. And then they'll get like a, a killed and slaughtered, or to then like be have their meat they be, be produced on the market. And so it's like transportation for the feed is mo and take a lot of resources to produce the feed and to feed the animals and like tear for the animals and then like transport the meat once the animals have been like cut up and served. So you're it's using double resources. It uses a lot of resources. For like beef, for example, is so that does contribute to like climate change. So it'd be something to like consider looking into as society to like one thing. It's just, it, but the thing is like there are vegan alternatives to like meats that like some which do taste good. Uh, if, for those who are willing to try it. But the reason why in like impossible meat or like the coggy meat is not like has a higher presence in like the grocery stores as it were too is because the meat lobby prevented that from happening. Because if uh, we all switch to like plant based meat or even lab grown meat, then the meat industry would like cease to be. Like I mentioned before with the IRS, the IRS can do our taxes, but the companies that benefit or exist because they the IRS can't do their taxes, TurboTax and HR Block. If like the IRS is able to do our taxes, the HR Box would cease to exist, and TurboTax would cease to exist. And so those companies lobbied for like uh, the IRS not to be able to do our taxes. So we have to like suffer to like doing our own taxes when the the IRS can do our own taxes if they give enough resources. It's because it's for like those companies, TurboTax and HR and Brox, do continue to exist. And the meat industry wants to continue to exist as well for the same reason. So they'll block the like progress of plant based meat in our grocery stores as well as the thing. I saw, so Lucidia, who's always cute, I saw a thing that was like a picture of a guy and a girl that just said date men. And, and the girl was, was like, nah. And my brain went like, you're a woman now? Date men. And then, nah. That's amusing.